Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we're back in Las Vegas on the north end of Las Vegas, close to the Fremont Street experience. We're going to check out the Las Vegas North Premium Outlets today. I guess about two years ago I did a video here on the New York channel on the Las Vegas South Premium Outlets, which uh, is south of the Las Vegas Strip as we know it, south of all the hotels and casinos and actually a little bit south of the newly named Harry Reid International Airport. Uh, that was about two years ago, and if you want to see that video, just do a quick search on the New York channel. But today, we're here at the Las Vegas North Premium Outlets, which is just a stone's throw from the Fremont Street Experience, right by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, just a few blocks away. And uh, this one is mostly outdoors, whereas the South Premium Outlets is mostly indoors. They share pretty much the same shops. Uh, only difference being is most of the mall in the South Premium Outlets is enclosed, where where we are today up north, uh, they're all outside. So it doesn't make too much of a difference because the weather's always beautiful here. But on those 100, 110 degree days, sometimes you want to be indoors and obviously you would pick the South Premium Outlets. So come on and walk around the outlet stores with me today. We're going to grab a nice uh, nitro coffee at the Starbucks and uh, we're going to check out what's going on around here. Let's check it out. This is directly from the uh, Las Vegas North Premium Outlets website. This airy outdoor village styled center is a must see, must shop for visitors of the famed strip. Las Vegas North Premium Outlets features 175 designer and name brand outlet stores, offering savings of up to 65% every day, including Coach, Kate Spade, Michael Kors, Nike, Saks Fifth Avenue, Tory Burch, Lululemon, Burberry, and many more. Visit our full-service sit-down restaurant, the Cheesecake Factory, or if you're looking for something a little quicker, visit Shake Shack, Chipotle, or our fabulous food court, Las Vegas North Premium Outlets, is located at the north end of the Strip at the gateway of downtown and Fremont Street. Now, today I took an Uber from the Strat Hotel and Casino on the north end of the Las Vegas Strip to here, the North Premium Outlets, and uh, because I didn't have my own car, I didn't realize, but I was talking to people here, this outlet charges $5 for parking the first three hours and $10 for parking anything over three hours, um, which upset a lot of people that are shopping here. And I don't know why they do that, perhaps because of its proximity to downtown, uh, all the hotels and casinos on Fremont Street. Maybe that's why they do it. They don't want people parking here and then just walking over to Fremont Street. I don't know. I do plan on heading over to Fremont Street on foot uh, after I'm done with this, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. They do charge for parking here. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And a shout out to Jarvis Landry 14 who found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in my latest Las Vegas video at Hershey World at the New York, New York Hotel and Casino. Congratulations, Jarvis Landry 14. 
The hidden mascots are very popular here on the New York channel, and it's, uh, we have a couple experts out there, the same ones that find mascots almost all the time. Let's get some new people looking and uh, try to find those mascots and get some new names being shot out out there. But congratulations to all the experts. I certainly don't mind you looking for them as well. Just to be clear on the location of the uh, Las Vegas North Premium Outlets, it's about two miles north of the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino and about two miles south of the Fremont Street Experience. So when I say I'm walking over to the Fremont Street Experience, it's a good 40-45 minute walk, just to bring that to your attention. I don't want you to start walking and then realize how far away it is, but I enjoy walking, uh, and if you enjoy walking, it's about 40-45 minutes to the Fremont Street Experience from here on foot. We're passing a Croc store, and I have to say I'm not loyal to any particular brand of shoe, but I bought a pair of sandals in a Croc store about four or five years ago. They are the most comfortable sandals. They're, they're old. They're like four or five years old. I've done a ton of walking in them. Uh, very happy with them. Very comfortable. Uh, so just putting that out there. No endorsement. I will say people are always asking me about all the walking that I do, and uh, I enjoy walking. Uh, the most important thing is a good pair of shoes. I don't recommend sandals, which I was just talking about, but a good pair of sneakers. I'm not loyal to any particular brand. I just like whatever's comfortable on my feet. Um, I don't break them in when I'm going on vacation. If I buy a new pair of shoes, I make sure they're broken in before I get on that airplane. And uh, basically that's it. I love to walk, and I just make sure I have good shoes on my feet when I do it. On my recording days like today, it's not uncommon for me to walk more than 10 miles a day. And last year I was in Orlando for, I believe, 9 or 10 days. And that one trip alone, I walked well over 100 miles. And uh, I came home, had no issues. It's all about the shoes, people. It's all about the shoes. So you guys know it's pretty early in the morning the mall's not as busy as it usually is this mall does get pretty busy by the way i just wanted to put that out there uh, but it's about 10 o'clock some of these stores are just starting to open i have a busy schedule today i started out in the strat like i said i uh, did some recording over there hopped on over here and i'm going to spend most of the day in the uh, fremont street area but uh, it's kind of early here and it's, it looks kind of dead but this place does get busy Personally, I very rarely go shopping in outlets uh, while I'm away. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me to go shopping here when I have all these stores at home and I don't have to worry about luggage and things like that. But uh, apparently it's pretty popular to go shopping in these outlets when you're away and uh, I don't understand it, but to each his own. Someone once commented that where they come from, there are no outlet stores, and I never thought about that. I live in the Northeast where there are outlets within blocks of each other. Um, so if, if this is something that you don't have by your home, then I can certainly see you shopping uh, while you're away. <laughs> And we're listening to surf music here in Las Vegas in the middle of the desert. Why? Because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Well, it's only about 10, 10, 30 here in the morning and things are already heating up here in Las Vegas. And as you can see, I'm on the shady side of the street. I'm always on the shady side of the street. 
because it's cooler here in Las Vegas and because my camera likes it a lot better. But it is getting quite warm and I know I passed a Starbucks a little earlier so I'm going to start looking for that again so I can get an ice cold nitro coffee. One of my favorite things at Starbucks. Coming up here on the right pretty soon will be the Cheesecake Factory, one of the casual sit down restaurants here at the mall. And I like Cheesecake Factory. They have quite an extensive menu, one of the more extensive menus I've seen in a, a national restaurant, and I'm pretty sure they are nationwide. Do you have one by your house? Have you eaten there? Do you like it? I love their menu, and of course, I love their cheesecake and coffee. One of the things I like about this mall is these scrims, I think that's what you call them, that provide shade no matter where you go. At least they provide shade on one side of the street. In this particular example, they're providing shade for the entire alley, but um, I really do like them. And as you can see, there's overhead lights here that must look beautiful at night. I don't remember ever buying a pair of Levi jeans in my entire life. I don't know why. Perhaps it's the fit. I don't know. I'm more of a Wrangler type of guy. Maybe I owned a Levi's uh, denim jacket back in the day, but I've never owned Levi's. And uh, till this day, I only wear Wranglers. Just some useless information I thought I'd share with you guys. The guy in the kiosk coming up here on the left could sell anything to anyone. He's a wonderful salesman and he sold me this lime green one piece number. I really didn't need it, but I bought it anyway because he was a wonderful salesman and I didn't know what to do with it once I got it back at the hotel. So I wore it at the Link Promenade last night and boy did I get attention. Wait, here we are, Starbucks. Let me get that cold nitro.
Here's the food court, let's check it out. Let's see what they got here. There's a Kung Pao Wok, a Subway Sandwich Place, Via Italian Kitchen, there's a Green Leaf Beyond Salads Place, a Banana Smoothies Place, and a South Philly Cheesesteak Place. And speaking of South Philly, I've gotten several requests to do uh, some Philadelphia videos, and that's not too far from me, so yeah, I probably will get to that eventually sometime this year. I've gotten requests to do the D.C. area, Baltimore area, and there are some casinos there. I plan on visiting this spring that Washington, D.C., Baltimore area when the cherry blossoms are out. And I'll visit all the uh, historical landmarks as well as the casinos there. And I'd like to make it up to Connecticut sometime this spring as well to check out uh, Mohegan Sun and Foxwood. So lots on my plate. I only have so much time, but I, I appreciate all your requests and I will do whatever I can to get these uh, videos up here as soon as possible, uh, considering my work schedule and everything else. And on top of that, I will be back in Las Vegas uh, in March sometime, which is just a few weeks away. So I will be in Vegas in March. And of course, Atlantic City is just a stone's throw from uh, my home. So I will be uh, visiting Atlantic City almost on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And as we're getting ready to leave the mall, you'll see the freeway behind us, that's Interstate 15, which many of you who visit Las Vegas frequently know that that's the uh, freeway that runs parallel to the Las Vegas Strip. It gets you around town a lot faster if you're taking an Uber or a taxi, and uh, it also takes you to California if that's where you're heading. And thanks for watching today, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.